Hi, my name's Lauren and I work at Virgin Active in Zetland. I have been a PT for about eight months to a year now and I specialize in strength, mobility, training and women's only training as well. I started training myself when I was about 18 years old, so for about seven years now and I've absolutely fallen in love with health and fitness. I love everything to do with gym, exercise, outdoor activities, all along the lines of that. Today, I'm gonna to take you guys through a couple of mobility exercises that you can do at home or in the gym, wherever you like. I encourage everyone to add mobility to their scheduled training, whether you're an athlete, whether you just like to enjoy coming to the gym. Even if you don't do regular physical exercise, I still highly recommend doing mobility. The first exercise I'm gonna take you through is a downward dog into a push-up, and I'm also gonna show you another variation of an inchworm to a push-up. So, what we wanna do is stand with our feet shoulder width apart, and and we want to bring our hands all the way to the ground, coming in downward dog position, bum all the way up. Then from here, we're going to slowly rock forward, come down, do a push up, and then come back up into a downward dog. Same thing again, leaning all the way forward, push up, coming back into a downward dog. Now the next variation, what we're going to do, bring our hands slowly towards our feet, keep going, stopping here. Same thing again, bringing our hands all the way down, and then we're going to go into a push up there again. Same thing, hands coming all the way to our feet, coming all the way back down into a push up again. The next exercise I'm gonna show you is a leg focus exercise. I use this with my clients before and after leg day. So what we're gonna do, come down into a squat, keeping our feet slightly rotated out at 45 degree angle, coming down into a squat. Then we're gonna rotate our wrists just like this, pressing firmly on the floor and just keep doing that for about 10 reps. After we've done that, we're gonna straighten our legs, keeping our hands on the ground, all the way up, all the way back down. This is great for your hamstrings, all the way up, all the way back down. Great for your hips as well, if you're about to prep for a squat or if you're about to do some deadlifts. All right, so the third exercise we're gonna do is a 90-90 stretch. Jump on the floor. I'm going to have my legs at a 45 degree angle here. Both legs, hands are gonna come in front. I'm gonna rotate my legs the opposite way and try and keep your bum on the floor as much as possible, just so we can get the most hip rotation possible. I do this before squats and before deadlifts as well. Keep rotating till the knees are fully on the floor. With all these mobility exercises, we don't want to do them very fast. We want to do them nice and slow in order to get the most stretch possible out of the movement. The next exercise we're going to do is lunge rocks. We're going to start in a lunge position, keeping our knee on the floor, slightly leaning all the way forward, as far forward as you can possibly go, making sure your knee is over your toes here, hands on hips, rocking all the way back nice and slow. And you can even dig your heel into the ground to get more of a hamstring and calf stretch. Same thing again, leaning all the way forward, rocking all the way back. As you can see, my back is nice and straight. We don't wanna be overly hunched over and we don't wanna keep our chest all the way up either. Just nice and straight and in line so this spine is in the correct position. The next exercise we're going to do is the world's greatest stretch, otherwise known as lunge to twist. Starting in our lunge position, but instead of the lunge rocks, we want to keep our back foot off the ground here. Then we're going to put our left leg in front, right leg down, bringing the left arm all the way up, stretching all the way back down to the floor. Same thing again, rotating all the way up, rotating back down. With this one as well, you want to make sure your eyes are attached to your hand the whole way through. So I'm coming up, rotating my back, twisting all the way back down. I'm almost crunching on the way down. Back up again, crunching, rotating, all the way back up, crunching and rotating. We're gonna move to some upper body mobility. So I love to do shoulder dislocations before and after pretty much almost every single workout. Stand shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, and we're gonna keep our pelvis slightly tucked in. That way we're engaging the core. Hands all the way out. It depends on how far out you go, how good your shoulder mobility is. The better you get at it, the more close in towards your body you can go. From here, all the way around back down, all the way forward again. You wanna keep it nice and slow and controlled. 
keeping our hands and our arms as straight as possible, elbows almost locked in all the way there. Now we're going to do around the world shoulder dislocations. We're grabbing the um, dowel nice and wide, rotate the right hand all the way up, keeping that back hand pretty much in the same position, arms straight all the way back down. Back up, back down, and then from here we're going to swap sides. So the left arm is going to come up high, the back arm is going to stay down nice and low. All the way rotating, back down, back around again. That concludes my little mobility routine. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked, please leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more of me, please follow my Instagram. Or if you want some personal training from me, please reach out to Virgin Active Zealand.